Dead spin is what happens when journalism becomes too cowardly to confront the woke when it enters your industry. Sports journalism has been plagued by this. I mean, look at some of the great yeah. the, uh, institutions, ESPN, Sports Illustrated. They're now all woke zombies because they let it in. They let it take over because they were scared. Instead of saying to the woke, get lost, they open the doors, and now you have this, this kind of crap, which, by the way, it's so obviously, like, Wrong. I'm assuming they must have done it anyway because they knew that because Deadsp Deadspin is dying, that this might be the only way that they can get clicks is by actually embarrassing themselves. But there is an assumption that as long as you, you know, are on the woke side of the political field, uh, no one's going to bother to check because the media is on your side. So even if you, yeah. you misreport, no one's really going to call you out. In this case, uh, you know, they did because X, which is you know, why the left hates Elon Musk, now has community, re community yeah. re notes. So the community notes called this out before it was amplified to the world, right? This guy should have said, he should have said, you know, he may not be wearing blackface, but somewhere someone is. <laughs> and we're just raising awareness of half blackface. <laughs> this is the new thing, half blackface. Why not just say, whoops, sorry, and send the kid, you know, a pizza? So, uh, just a pizza? Or more. I think or they more. should send him a lot more than a pizza. Because this guy's got a lawsuit, and I think the judge can attest to it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he might not have to save for college. Yeah. If, and please make me understand this, Jessica, because the left is very confusing. If children can choose their own gender, uh, they can't choose what they wear to the game? I mean, if the can't boy can wear a dress, why can't he wear a headdress? <laughs> well, why can't he just say this was makeup? Because they said boys can wear makeup. He can't. We have to get approval from the left about what kind of makeup. Why are you going after They her? can wear, <laughs> or he could wear. What I don't understand is this. So we beat the Native Americans in battle, right? We also beat the British. <laughs> Yes. We beat the British, so can't we dress up as the British also? You could. I can't dress up as your husband. <laughs> I can't dress up as King George. I can't dress up as a red coat. Dana, we have the Patriots. We have the Pirates. Mm -hmm. We have the Cowboys. We have lots of mascots that are great warriors that people dress up as all the time. And how do you know this guy wasn't a Raiders and a Chiefs fan? This wasn't at Arrowhead Stadium. This was in Las Vegas. This could have been half Raiders fan, half Chiefs fan. No one knows. And so this guy only sees one image. Where's his editor? You know, because we're always told on the internet, you know, this is why social media, this is why you need editors. This guy is an editor. Yeah. And no one even cleared that. Yeah. This is so dumb. I hope he sues him like Nick Salmon for a quarter million dollars. And we're efforting him on tonight at 8 o'clock. Oh, Jesse Waters, I would, love to, I would love to see that. Jessica, since your name efforting. was invoked, would you like to <laughs> reply <laughs> before the judge tells us about what could happen here? I, I'm just kind of surprised. We had this nice break from each other, Thanksgiving <laughs> holiday, and you come back, we're going to go as if I think that this has mm. any legitimacy one at all. It's because he has rabies. Oh, I could <laughs> have that, not come back yet, Greg. <laughs> if he's getting a shot, though, he's doing it on air, and we'll all get to see his stomach. No, you now, get him in the arm. No, why, why did the dog bite you? Was right. the question. <laughs> Democrat owner. <laughs> Do not slander Democratic dogs or Democratic owners. So, first of all, you kept saying this guy. It's not a guy, it's a child. Mm -hmm. Like, how old is that kid? 10 years old? Maybe. 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 I thought, when I first saw him, I thought he was seven. But I'm not, yeah, I don't have good perception that. of how old children are. That could be it, a problem. <laughs> I am not a pedophile, just a Democrat. Okay, so. Quote of the year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, and you say, why can't he do this? The Kansas City <laughs> Chiefs themselves decided in 2020 that they didn't want people wearing the headdresses to the games. That's pr their prerogative. It's a private organization. Yeah. I don't think that it really matters. I don't think that this story is in anything. I think Greg is right that there's no censors on this. This is something that you wouldn't expect. I mean, this is a, a storied brand that has gone significantly downhill um, in terms of Deadspin. Um, and I think it's part of why it wasn't picked up everywhere. Maybe the community notes really did everyone a big favor that they saw that right away, that this wasn't a thing. But who would have an expectation anyway that a seven to 10 year old would do blackface? 
right? That that would be something that yeah. would be on his mind. Racist or parents. Yes. yes. Why? Ra yes. Racism. Yes. I would like to know who they are. Jessica, uh, uh, yeah. Judge, okay. tell us what could happen here. Well, uh, there are a couple of things I want to say. Number one, I think it's interesting that the guy who wrote it, his name is Karen. It's Caron yeah. Phillips, but he's a Karen. Uh, he's nothing more than a troublemaker who was purposely deceiving what is a young kid having a good time at a football game. I don't think this kid is more than nine. To me, I thought maybe he's seven, maybe he's eight, maybe he's nine. To put the burden of racism and yeah. everything else on this kid is an outrage. An outrage that goes so far in, on my spectrum that, as far as I'm concerned, it's the defamation spectrum. And I think think that his parents should consider suing because make no mistake that kid knows that his photo mm -hmm. is yeah. in yeah. newspapers that we're talking about it on you know oh. we're the the biggest watch show on all news cable um, he's got to get some some reward and some damage for this now look the, the, no one can seriously argue this kid was just having a good time there isn't a negative thought on this kid's mind. But what I want to know is, where's the NFL? Where are the Kansas City Chiefs? Yeah. You know what I want? I want Mahomes. I want Kelsey. I want them to say, you know what? You come in. We're going to give you season tickets. We love you. And stop with this nonsense with the headdress and all that. I'm tired of political correctness. I'm tired of people saying what I can and cannot do. Unless it is offensive, realistically, objectively offensive. The Native American group, there is a Native American group, that means the American Indians, who are demanding that the, the commanders now reinstate the name Redskin to the Washington Redskin football team. This nonsense has got to end it will never end it will never end but maybe taylor swift could give him tickets to the next concert why do we as have well to let's throw those in as well do we have to bring her into i knew you'd story? say we that have us? i see we do hi everyone i'm brian kilmeade i want you to do me a favor i want you to click to subscribe to the fox news youtube page this is the only way that i know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary any great news bites any great interviews coming your way on fox you can get it all here on youtube so subscribe right now